my name is Don Lee, and today we're gonna do a small tutorial on how to integrate OBS lightning ch lighting changes or really any automation you can do in your home um, into either a chatbot like Mixitup or Streamerbot. I'm personally using Mixitup and or OBS itself. So I want to show you how to do a lighting change upon a scene change of OBS. So when I switch into a different scene, I want to have different lighting. Now, how am I going to do that? It's really straightforward, really easy, and it can be done in under two minutes if you know what we're doing. So we're going to go into settings and home assistant, and we're going to go to automations and scenes, and we're going to create a new automation, or we're going to go into an automation that we want to be able to trigger from another software. As an example of what this can look like, I'll just do a chat command in my chat. Hello. It's John C. Right. So <laughs> that's how that could look like. Um, I have a stadium lighting routine and I have a face swap going on, which is also a web request actually, but from one software to another, instead of from one PC to another. Really the basic idea is always the same. Now we're just going to go with the lights today. So I prepared those two automations here. Uh, I've just realized you can't see my mouse cursor for whatever reason. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Okay, um, if I activate stream bright lights, those two front facing lights are turning brighter. And if I activate dimmed lights, same thing in reverse. Now, to make these available over the web or to really any web, web compatible device, <laughs> um, we're just going to do a trigger here and we're going to go to other triggers and to webhook. Now, by default, these webhooks expect data. The Home Assistant wants data to come in and this webhook to be really complicated. But there's an easy way around that. I just click on this settings gear and enable get requests because a get request is literally calling the URL anywhere without data, without any fancy thing, just calling the link. And I can easily prove that even. Let's copy this link by clicking on this button and save the routine so we actually have that uh, working. And now I go into another tab of this browser, paste the link and hit enter. And my lights turn bright, right? It's calling that link now will control my lights. So it's easy to start. And it even warns you, right? They treat this like a password. Don't share this. Don't do what I'm doing right now. <laughs> especially, especially if you're uh, not restricting this to local network and or you have a public home assistant in general. Like, keep this private. I want to redo all of this after the tutorial. Just, just for your information. Right. So now let's do the same thing. I'm just copying the link into a notepad. Um, let's do the same thing for the dimmed version. So we just type webhook here, for example. Copy that. Don't forget to set get request and save. And now testing it. Now got dimmed lights. Perfect. We're done in Home Assistant. That's all we have to do. The next step is to go into OBS. And I'm in, currently in my gaming scene, or usually use this for gaming, where I want dimmed lights. And I'm gonna add a new browser source. And this browser source I'll call Lights Dim. Uh, right, just create a new source and press OK. And within that, well, it's, I don't know, doesn't really matter that much. Uh, just paste the dim link. Uh, just need to be sure. Yeah, that's the right link, right? Dimmed, dimmed. There you can see it. And what we also have to do, and I'm hoping you can see that. Yes, it should. Um, I need to check both of these boxes. 
well, not really, but one of those boxes should be enough. Actually, this one should be enough. But I'm just going to make sure that I check both of these, because this will make sure that the link gets called every time I switch into the scene or I enable the source. So now we press OK. And we're halfway there, because we're going to do this exact same thing again. Browsers, new browser source, lights, right. Um, this time using the bright lights link we created at the beginning. And also checking those two boxes. Okay. And you can see it actually immediately turned the bright lights bright because, you know, that's an active scene now. Uh, active source now, excuse me. And if I switch my scene, the lights dim. It's as easy as that. I'm not entirely happy with the, how I'm looking right now <laughs> with the with the lighting. Um, but yeah, that's the basic idea. And you could, of course, do fancy things. Um, I also have like other chat commands that work with this. I do have, I don't know, um, events that react to uh, raids and donations and stuff like that. And all of that has to do with lighting a little bit, just to make it more interesting. So there's a lot of ways you can integrate that. Um, and we're gonna not really do a lot of that here. Here we are. Um, this is mix it up and I have a hook test command here I used to test things with. And if I edit that, oh, let me show you over here. You can see you have a web request action in here. Uh, you can add that by simply going to action, scroll down to web request and add a web request action. All right, that's delete that, I only need one. And then you just paste your link in here and that also sends a GET request specifically. And it could work with the result of that, but we do not actually send data in either way, so it, it doesn't really matter. And that's all you have to do to integrate into Mixitup. Paste the URL, press save, and you're done. Right. My name is Stone Lady. I'm done with this tutorial. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. If you did, let me know. Good luck, have fun, and thank you for watching.